Let's consider spray gun calibration using a liquid fertilizer. For this example, we are going to use a 1500 liquid fertilizer. It's 15% nitrogen by weight. Its label says to apply this product at six fluid ounces of product. Okay, that's the actual fertilizer material itself, not considering a specific level of nitrogen or other nutrients, but six fluid ounces of the product being applied per thousand square feet. Your spray swath that you can deliver in this case is seven feet wide, and you've got a 100 gallon spray tank and a pump, everything you need here for the spray system located in the back of a truck. Let's first consider some other information that you'd have to know or have to determine to make your calibration. One of those is from the standpoint of a spray gun calibration, we typically like to work uh, in units of 1,000 square feet. So if we want to calibrate for a 1,000 square feet area, We'll take 1,000 square feet divided by the spray swath width that this particular applicator can provide, and that's 7 feet. And this is going to determine for us how long of a calibration course we need. So 1,000 divided by 7 equals 143 feet. That will be our course length. Okay. We have said several times in our examples that it's pretty standard to use an operating speed for a product delivery of about three miles per hour. Okay, we're going to figure out, well, how, how long would it take us if we're going three miles per hour to cover 143 feet, because that's how long that we would want to capture the uh, solution from the spray system. Remember that three miles per hour is the same as 4.4 feet per second. And so if we take 143 feet divided by 4.4 feet per second, we can cover 143 feet in approximately 32 and a half, and I'm going to round it off to 32 seconds. Okay, so you would either, you capture uh, the discharge for 32 or 33 seconds. Okay. And we're going to keep that. We're going to say that's our constant speed. We keep our pressure constant. We capture the discharge for 32 seconds. And in this example, what I end up catching is 160 fluid ounces of the liquid. Again, it's probably water as a carrier. So 160 fluid ounces has been collected over that 32 second period. If we take this divided by the number of ounces that are in a gallon, so there's 128 fluid ounces per gallon. So 160 divided by 128, that gives us approximately 1.25 gallons. Okay, And we know now that 1.25 gallons is being delivered per 1,000 square foot basis because there's 143 feet long times 7 feet width. That's what we're calibrating, that area. So 1.25 gallons is to 1,000 square feet. And let's set up a proportion as to well, x gallons. What would that be on an acre basis? And an acre being 43,560 square feet. So we cross multiply, divide, solve for x, which is what you always do with any proportion, remembering that, remembering that units on the top must match units on top on both sides, and units on the bottom have to be similar as well. 43,560 times 1.25 is to x times a thousand. Okay, are the calculations in my proportion? I cross multiply, divide, solve for x. This turns out to be 54.5 gallons per acre. That's what my sprayer is calibrated to deliver, 54.5 gallons per acre. How many acres can a full tank spray? Full tank, remember, is 100 gallons. 100 gallons divided by 54.5 gallons per acre. That gives us approximately 1.8 acres can be treated with a full sprayer tank if we keep our speed and pressure constant. So 1.8 acres, acres per tank. Okay, How many square feet are in 1.8 acres? Well, I can take 1.8 acres times 
43,560 square feet per acre and that gives me 78,408 square feet. That's how many square feet can be treated with a full tank of 100 gallons of spray solution. Now we're going to use our desired application level. Six fluid ounces of the 1500 product per thousand square feet. We have 78,408 square feet. How much product do I need? Again, a simple proportion. Six fluid ounces per thousand square feet. The desired application rate. What is that in terms of X fluid ounces per the area that a full tank will cover, 78,408 square feet. Again, units match, fluid ounces, fluid ounces, square feet, square feet, so it's legitimate proportion. We cross multiply, divide, and solve for X. So remember it sets up like this, 78,408. Let me correct this and make this a comma rather than a parenthesis, 78408 times 6 equals 1,000 times x, 78408 times 6 equals 470, 448, 470,000, 470,448 is to 1,000 times x. Divide both sides by a thousand. We end up with an answer that's approximately 470.4 fluid ounces. Okay, and this would be of the 1500 material that would be added to a full tank. If you want to convert that to gallons, and we take 470 divided by how many fluid ounces there are in a gallon. 128, 470.4 divided by 128, that's approximately 3.7 gallons of 1500. And that's what you would add to the tank. Bring the tank's volume up to 100 gallons, keep your pressure speed constant, as we have talked about in the calibration, and you would be delivering the desired level here of six fluid ounces of product per thousand square feet. Now, let's consider what it would be if we only have, say, a half acre to spray. And let's reason through this in terms of how we can use proportions to figure out, well, how much spray volume do I need in the tank and how much product do I need if I want to apply six fluid ounces of product per thousand square feet. We certainly have no desire to make up a 100 gallon spray tank because we don't need that much this time. So well, some of the information we have available is what we can use once again we know that a 100 gallon spray tank will cover how much area? Well, we've determined up here that a 100 gallon spray tank will cover 1.8 acres. Okay, right here. So if 100 gallons will cover 1.8 acres, then how many gallons in that spray tank, x unknown, x gallons, will it take to cover a half acre? Correct? So 100 gallons will cover 1.8 acres. How many gallons then will cover a half acre? What we now have to treat. So again, we cross multiply, divide and solve for X, and we check again that our units match, gallons on the top, acres on the bottom, so it's a fair proportion. So we take 100 times 0 0.5 equals 1.8 times X. Okay, move our math along. This is 50 equals 1.8 times x. We divide both sides by 1.8. Okay, we ended up with right at 27.8 gallons of water. Okay, and that's what we would need in our spray tank now in order to treat a half acre. So that's going to be approximately our final volume that goes into the spray tank. Now, how much fertilizer will go into that spray tank? And again, let's think about there's with the uh, proportion, there's all different kinds of ways to do this. I'm going to use this number right here. We have determined that for a full spray tank, 
we needed 3.7 gallons of 1500, correct? That was our original calibration calculation. So I need 3.7 gallons, and this remember this is the 1500, that would be added to bring a spray tank volume up to 100 gallons if we're making up a full tank. But remember, we have just determined that we only need 27.8 gallons of water for this particular calculation. So let's proportion that out to, well, how many gallons of 1500 would be needed if our final spray volume is only 27.8 gallons? Okay, again, check your units, gallons of 15 OO fertilizer, gallons of 15 OO fertilizer, gallons in this case of water, gallons of water, your final volume. Cross multiply, divide, and solve for X. 27.8 times 3.7 equals 100 times X. 27.8 times 3.7 equals about 103 approximately. I'm going to round it off. And what this does when you divide both sides by 100, it, it comes out just barely over one gallon. And what I'm going to do is round that off. And you approximately would need one gallon of 1500 and you would add that one gallon of 1500 into the spray tank and bring the final volume up to 27.8 gallons and that would be the appropriate amount of material that would cover a half acre at the desired application level of back to the top six fluid ounces of product per thousand square feet